Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is the learn about your family section um, here on the Family Search app, or I guess it's more the search option on the Family Search app. Um, I guess that'll make more sense later on when we actually go into the app. So first things first, I am on a Google phone or a Android based phone. Um, if you're on a iPhone, iOS phone, um, things might look a little different or work a little different. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know how that looks or how that works. I don't have an iPhone. I have a droid. <laughs> um, so if you're a droid, please follow along. Um, so first thing you'll want to do is get the Family Search app. So I'm going to go to my Play Store. Go Play Store. I'm going to search Family Search. And it's actually going to immediately pull up the Family Search tree for me. And this is what the Family Search tree looks like. Um, don't get this Family Search Memories that's down here, right here. Don't get that one. Make sure you get the Family Search tree. Um, and then you just install it on your phone. I can't install because I already have it. So I have open option. Um, so yeah, so let's close out of this and go back to my church family history page. <laughs> um, so this is the page I call my phone, my church page, my LDS page, my Mormon page, my family history page, whatever my mood is, um, because I have all my family history and LDS stuff here. Um, so yeah. Right here in the top right corner, it says um, family tree, not very well, but it says family tree. It's the white icon with the family search um, icon or emblem. Um, that is your family search app or your family tree app. Um, also, let me kind of give you guys a little heads up. I am filming on my phone and it's going from my phone to my computer so I can record. So there might be a delayed reaction or blurring. I'm sorry. It's just how recording works. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna click on that app and log in and it should take me straight to my family tree. So let me click on my family search app. So this is my family tree. Sorry for all the blurs. I've gotta keep my family life private. You guys know the drill. So this is what the family search app looks like in case you guys have never opened it. You start off with your tree. Um, and then up here in the top left corner is these three little lines. Click on that. It gives you a whole bunch of like cool options and things to do. We're not going to go through any of that today. Um, then if you go over to the top right, it has this little arrow with like a clock symbol. That will show you things that you've recently viewed or people you recently viewed on this app or on family search and then right next to that is the little search icon or the little microscope not microscope um magnifying glass that's the word i'm looking for magnifying glass um that is what we're going to click on today and that's what we're going to focus on is this cute little magnifying glass right here in the top right corner um if you're in ios or iphone world i don't know what that looks like and where you find that so i'm sorry <laughs> So if we click on the little magnifying glass um, or search icon, it will pull up this. And it looks like a typical normal search thing for family search or search engine. And you just can put as much information as you want or not as much information. I'm not going to put a lot of information just because I want to show you guys this really cool feature. So I'm just going to put Valdez. That's the name I want to put in. And I'm not going to put anything else. So that's all I'm going to put in. And I'm going to put fine. And now it's showing me this cool little thing that I've shown you guys on Family Search, the website, not the app. This is the coolest little fun thing for me to do. I love this. So Valdez is the last name. And it says there's. 38,065 people on the big, huge family search website, on their big, huge family tree that everybody contributes to. There's 
38,065 people on that family tree with the last name Valdez. That's just so cool. I scroll down, we can see that the most common countries that you find the last name Valdez in is in Mexico, the United States, and the Philippines. So there's 14,000 for Mexico, there's 79,000 for the United States, and 46, oh, did I say thousand? 7,000, sorry, for the United States, almost 8,000, 4,000 for the Philippines. So that's just so cool to me. I love this part of seeing like where last names are common in the world and how many times you see them in family search. I just find this really cool and fun and fascinating. Okay. And then if you keep going past that, it will say these are the top three Valdez that are most searched on the family. Uh, Louisa Valdez, a Dominica. I'm going to slaughter these names. Valdez and... Oh, it has four. And then we have Concepcions. Concepcions. Oh, I slaughtered that. Valdez and Manuel Valdez. And then I can click on more and view some more Valdezes that are more mostly searched on the family search tree, but I'm not going to. And then underneath that, it says in historical documents with the last name Valdez, there is 2,093,379 birth, marriage, and death records. Man, that's a lot. Um, and 142 census records, uh, 70 um, immigration records, 12,000 12, um, military records, 2,000 probate and court records, and 449,000 other kind of records. And then it's showing us um, some census, some 1940 census. That's interesting because that is not what they show you on the website. But they show you them on the app. That's strange. Hmm, that's interesting. So we have some 1940 census for some Valdez. And then I can click on that and show more. Wow, that's interesting because on Family Search, the website, they show pictures right here. Fences. That's so strange. But this is what I wanted to show you guys is if you do the search engine, um, it's pulling up some common cool information that you can find here on Family Search or how common your last name is if you just put your last name in. Um, but if I put more, if I put like, Blair, I think it's Lindler, Lindler. If I put like a first name, go Claire Lindler, and don't put anything else, and I go fine, it's now going to do Lindler for the top part, and then later on I'll look for only Claire Lindler. So Lindler, there's 3,248 Lindler in the family search, huge family tree. They're mostly common in England, United States, and Australia. Hmm, that's interesting. So here's a Claire Lindlard, a Claire Jane Lindlard, a Alice LeClaire Lindlard, a Claire, two other Claire Lindlards, and a Francis Clary Lindlard. See, now it's pulling up all the Claire Lindlards or common Claire Lindlards that are in the family search. And then when it comes to historical documents, it's now just pulling up historical documents that have a Claire and a Lindlard in them. Um, and the same goes for the census down, be down below. Hey, wait, this 1940 and 1931, this Claire L. Lindlard is my ancestor. And I can click on the census, which I just did, and now it's going to pull up the census that has her in it. And I can zoom in. And be like, where are you, Claire? Yep, there we are. Think. Lindlard, Samuel G, and Claire L. Yep, that would be them. Oh, that went back too many times. Um, so I pushed the back arrow, and now I'm back here to the search. And yeah, I guess that's all I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> um. 
I know when I showed you guys all this website, I went through like 60 million last names, but I just find it so cool to sit here and be like, let's see, I want to do a different one last name. Let's go Mills. But fine. I just find it so cool to be able to be like, Mills is, you know, United States, England, and Canada. And see the common countries that my last name's in. And I love how it shows the three top ones and they're always different. Um, the first couple of times I did this before showing, before doing the video on the Family Search website, I was so totally confused because I had the same three countries. The first couple of times I did it, I was like, why is it only telling me the same three countries? But once I put in a unique last name like Valdez, where I knew it was more Mexican, it pulled that up and I was like, oh, see, it doesn't do the same countries. But I just love seeing the unique different countries like the United States and England and Canada or Australia or the Philippines and seeing last names in my family tree where they're common in the world. I think this is the coolest part of this whole search engine. And I just plug in last names. I don't even search for anybody. I just plug in last names and be like, there's this many mills in the family tree, in the family search tree. and this many Linlords or Valdez or whatever. So I just have so much fun going through and doing this cool little top section. I don't even care about the rest. I mean, they're cool and all, but I just love this top section. I'm figuring out where my last name is very common in the world or other last names that are popular in my family tree, where they're common in the world. Um, so that's pretty much all I really wanted to show you guys. <laughs> How to do this little learn about your family section or the search section here on Family Search um, and how that works here on the Family Search app versus on the website. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys um, take the time and opportunity to explore this on the app or on the Family Search website or watch my video on how to do it on the Family Search website. Um, because it's just so cool and fun and fascinating to me. Um, and I hope it's fun and fascinating for you guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, please comment below. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, if you guys have any suggestions on anything else I should film, please also comment below. And I hope you guys have a beautiful week. Bye.